Hi, I'm one of the co-owners of Remo's. Today we're going to be showing you how we make pizza here at Remo's from scratch. We're going to go inside the dough retarder here. We're going to get one of the doughs. And the first step to making a pie, obviously, is stretching the dough, which is one of the most important factors on how to make a nice, even pie. We put in flour, flour it up pretty good. The first step is to stretch. You know, I just started doing this recently, so I'm not that good at it. But um, I think it's going to be okay. And you keep on stretching and turning like this, a little at a time. Because believe it or not, the way you stretch the dough is probably the most important thing. You know, sometimes you eat a pizza and it comes out soggy. The reason why it's not stretched correctly. We put on the pallet here, the pizza peel. All right, we're gonna add some, we're gonna, this is called the margarita pizza. We're gonna add a little extra virgin olive oil. Okay, and we're gonna put the oil all the way around where it coats all the dough. Okay. And then we're gonna get some fresh mozzarella and put it right over it like this. And try to, you know, put as far out to the end as possible, which it makes most of the people love the cheese. So, you know, we try to give them as much as possible. Then we come, this is the sauce, it's already pre-made. You know, as we make it right here. And we put a little bit of sauce throughout like this. This is a very light pomodoro sauce. Okay, and after we've done this, we're gonna put it right here in the brick oven. We slide it off the pallet like this, and it takes about approximately seven minutes to cook. I think it's just about right. So how do we know when a pizza is ready? It has to be a golden brown crust, meaning this part of the pie has to be this golden brown with a, and you know that the pizza is ready then. This is our margarita pizza, and uh, it's very, very popular here at Vimos. We sell lots of this type pizza here, very much so. It's a thin crust, and now to put, we're gonna put, add a little bit of fresh basil over it like this. Sprinkle a little fresh basil to finish this off. We put in this plate like that. And this is how you serve it at a table, exactly like that. And uh, come in and try because it's really very, very good.